and welcome back to Stephanie's Movie Reviews. I'm your host, Stephanie Thompson. On this show, we review four categories of films, action, family, drama, and comedy. You can watch all of my movie reviews on akexpertstv.com. In this segment, four seg- fourth segments of four segments, we are going to review two comedies. The first one is uh, called Home Again. Home Again stars Reese Witherspoon, Pico Alexander, and Candace Bergen, Michael Sheen. It's about a young woman who is newly separated from her husband and comes back to live in her family home. She has a wild birthday night, ends up back home with a couple of guys, not that she's crazy or anything they just they end up getting back end up back at her house with her friends and things transpire and the three men end up living with her and her two daughters in the casita just outside her house so her life changes and she actually starts a relationship with one of the young men that's the premise of the movie so it's it's interesting. Michael Sheen plays her husband, who she's separated from. He's a big record producer, and he's obviously you can see the problems that were in the marriage. Is that he's never there. He's not uh, present. She needs him for things, and he's always running off to his clients or whatever, and he's he's not there for her. And so she begins this relationship with this young man who's an aspiring filmmaker along with his two friends. And they're very excited because her dad is a, was a big film guy. And so they're, you know, in awe of her dad. And she, um, so she kind of allows them to, to see what he did and, and look at his, his films and everything and study what he does and everything. And, and it's kind of cute how the, the two guys intermingle or the three guys intermingle in, inside of her daughter's lives too. And, and it, they kind of become a family. So it's, it's kind of sweet. And Candace Bergen is, plays her mom and she's kind of pushing her to, you know, push her boundaries and and do something different so it's it's a sweet movie I found that there was something missing in the movie even after I watched the ending I I just walked away just thinking <laughs> I'm missing something but um, I liked the movie but I missed something about the movie I don't know exactly what it was, but it just left me feeling a little empty. So uh, that's my take on Home Again. I gave it three popcorns. And the lesson I took away from it was that life can give us second chances, but sometimes the second chance we think we want may not be what it is. It may be something else. That's what I took away from the movie. So we're going to take a quick commercial break, and then we'll be right back with the Lego Ninjago movie. Hi, I'm Jamie Lee Metz, CEO and founder of Skin Fitness here in Las Vegas. We've been serving Las Vegas for over 17 years. We're proud to announce we just won 2017 Spa of the Year by Image International. That's the skincare company of the Miss Universe pageant. We offer exclusive treatments like our Time Eraser Facial, which uses multiple modalities and literally erases time. Our Pore Purge, which is the ultimate in hygiene. And our Fire and Ice Facial, which literally removes and soothes the skin at the same time. Come see us at our new location here in Village Square. We look forward to seeing you soon. Hi, welcome back to Stephanie's Movie Reviews. I'm your host, Stephanie Thompson. On this show, we review four categories of films, action, family, drama, and comedy. In this segment, we're reviewing two comedies. The first one was Home Again. The second one is The Lego Ninjago Movie, starring Jackie Chan, Justin Thoreau, Dave Franco, Kamal Nanjiani is in it as well. This movie is uh, based uh, in, it's, it's, it's a Lego movie. It starts out, Jackie Chan is talking to a young boy, and then he kind of brings him into the city of Ninjago, and that's where the story begins. Ninjago is 
a city and it is being overrun by the evil Garmadon. Garmadon is plundering the city all the time. He's always trying to take over the city. Always. And the people are just terrified of him. So we have the ninjas who are fighting him and fighting him and fighting him. And the green ninja is kind of the leader of the gang. Well, the green ninja is secretly, nobody knows his identity. He is Garmadon's son, Laloid. And poor Laloid, <laughs> he he's a teenager. And, you know, there's a scene in the movie where he gets on the school bus and all the kids go to the other side of the school bus and the bus is like lopsided because they don't want to be on the side of Lloyd because they blame him for all of Garmadon's misdeeds. And Lloyd is like secretly trying to undermine Garmadon but nobody knows that because the, the green ninja is a secret and he's trying to, he's keeping his identity secret. So it's just sad. Uh, Lloyd just wants to be well first of all he wants to be accepted by his dad he wants his dad to you know give him some love and he also is having a terrible time in school because nobody wants to give him any anything because he's Garmadon's son so one day they're fighting Garmadon and Jackie Chan is his mentor and Jackie Chan tells him about the, this ultimate, ultimate weapon. And he says, you must not use the ultimate, ultimate weapon because you're not ready for it. You're not ready for it. Well, Laloid, as Garmadon calls him, he just loses it with his dad one day. And he ends up using the ultimate, ultimate, ultimate weapon. And that's when disaster happens. And after that, his friends won't talk to him. And Garmadon gets the upper hand, and it's just a mess. So then they have to go on a quest. Well, at this point in the movie, I was kind of a little bored, and I was thinking, oh, no, they're going to go on a quest now. So I was kind of like, oh, so the movie's going to go on longer. But actually, I started to enjoy it after a while. So it was just a little bit of a lull in the middle that I just kind of thought, okay, well, I'm not sure what's going to happen, and I'm a little bored, but it got better. So I gave this movie three and a half popcorns. I thought it was really good, and the lesson, you know, for a Lego movie, and the lesson that I took away from it was that, you know, your parents, if you can accept them and give them a chance... Even if they're crazy warlords or whatever, if you meet them halfway, sometimes, sometimes miracles can happen. And that's what I took away from this movie. We'll see you on the next one. Are you frustrated and wasting time searching for high quality education and entertainment and not finding it? Stop wasting your time. We've got your solution. Our three dynamic and unique online TV shows provide you with high quality and easy to find content. Everything from business skills and self-development to book and movie reviews and everything in between. At akexpertstv.com, you'll find high quality experts in their field. In one place, at no cost to you. Visit www.akexpertstv.com today.